What happens if Earth gets 2 degrees Celsius warmer? In other words, even if we are able to limit the rise in global air temperature to 2 degrees Celsius by the end of the century and stop the increase at that point, the ocean holds so much heat that it can continue melting ice sheets and thus raising sea level far beyond that point in time. If the world gets warmer by 2 degrees Celsius, we are going to have a problem all over the planet. To prevent that, the United Nations signed the Paris Agreement, an international treaty designed to keep the average global temperature well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. What the Earth was like before factories started spewing greenhouse gases into the air. Over the last 20 years, that 2 degree threshold has been referenced in policies and agreements made by the Council of the European Union, the G7, and more. Climate change affects the ecosystems that provide food, and therefore our security of food is linked to the security of those ecosystems. As temperatures warm and glaciers melt, the corresponding sea level rise can destroy homes and cities. About 40% of the world's population lives within 100 kilometers of the coast. So what makes 2 degrees so important? The effects, or impacts, of climate change may be physical, ecological, social or economic. Evidence of observed climate change includes the instrumental temperature record, rising sea levels, and decreased snow cover in the northern hemisphere. Over the next 20 years, scientists warned of the dangers of increasing temperatures due to man-made greenhouse gases. During the 20th century, the average global temperature was about 14 degrees Celsius, give or take a few tenths of a degree. Since 1880, the globe has warmed nearly a full degree, but over two-thirds of that increase occurred after 1975, the year Nordhaus wrote his paper. And every year so far in the 21st century has been in the top 20 warmest years on record. The last time the Earth was as warm as it is now was over 11,000 years ago. Oceans cover 70% of our planet, and it takes a lot of energy to heat up that much water, not to mention the air and land. So a 2 degree increase in the average global temperature means that temperature increases across the board are a lot more than 2 degrees Celsius. It can change our maps displace people from tropical islands and cities, and cause famine. There is no debate within the scientific community. The scientific evidence of the global warming is clear. The consequences of this global problem will only intensify if we do not confront the realities of climate change. Mankind should achieve some meaningful solutions in order to address the threat of global warming. We should stop deforestations, reduce carbon emissions, and fight misinformation. People should be prepared for the inevitable consequences of the global warming. It is our today's reality and we should be responsible for doing so much harm to our planet Earth. One of the most obvious effects of global warming is extreme weather. The weather patterns are rapidly changing in all parts of the world. The increased rainfall in certain regions affects the balance that animals and plants need to survive. Climate changes cause health problems, animal migration, and the lack of food resources. The effects of global warming on plants and animals are expected to be widespread and profound. Many organisms are migrating from the equator toward poles in order to find more comfortable conditions for their existence. The sea level rise accelerates 0.12 inches per year in overage worldwide. Snow cover is projected to contract. Sea ice is projected to shrink in both Antarctic and Arctic. Future tropical cyclones will become more intense. People should cut power consumption in order to reduce the effects of global warming.
we should buy less polluting cars, get more efficient refrigeration, and reduce water heating requirements. We should also fly less or not at all. The air pollution caused by overabundance of carbon dioxide, vehicular emissions, and power plants influences the human respiratory system. A lot of people all over the world suffer from respiratory diseases. The Earth's temperature will continue to rise so long as mankind continues to produce greenhouse gases. The surface of our planet can warm by 6 degrees this century. The Arctic is one of the worst places affected by global warming. More than 1 million species have become extinct due to the effects of global warming. The Montana Glacier National Park has only 25 glaciers instead of 150 that were there in the year 1910. Human activities release around 37 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide per year. With every degree rise in global temperatures, lightning strikes will increase by 12%. Severe natural disasters caused by global warming have left millions of people impoverished and homeless. Jungle leaves become less nutritious for the animals that feed on them as they accumulate more fiber and less protein.